Hello everyone, Miss Starling in the studio. This is going to be a little bit different video from what I've done before. I got to thinking that I think a lot of people struggle with making master boards because they just haven't been exposed to enough ideas and they lack inspiration. And one of the things that I I'm not sure I've talked about in the past is taking a master board and making offshoots of it, taking it in a slightly different direction from the main master board and creating a second, a third, and uh, maybe a fourth or more off of the same basic master board. So I'm going to start out, I don't know how many I'll get to today in the time we have, but we'll cover as many as we can and then um, uh, do more of these in the future if you find it beneficial to you. So I do need you to like and give me your feedback after we finish this video so that I'll know whether this has truly been helpful to you or not. Uh, a few of these some of you may have seen before if you watched the very first video I ever made on this channel. I'm going to show you a few of the same master boards, but what I did not talk about in that video is offshoots, probably because I hadn't made any yet. Anyway, that's what we're going to deal with today. Not every master board has any offshoots, but many of them do. So let's get going. All right, here's a collaged master board that was done by hand and hand embellished with some florals and butterflies and, and so on and so forth. It's very neutral and can be used in many different ways. I apparently have not created any offshoots from it, but that's fine. Here's another master board that was created by hand and embellished with some colorful florals off of a very neutral background. I don't have the original master board to this one so I think I probably cut it up at some point and turned it into smaller ephemera but here again was a an original collage torn paper overlapping shapes master board. And here was another one on a darker palette. Uh, the darker your palette is, the harder it may be to find embellishments that are going to show through. So keep that in mind. And here was another one. Uh, very neutral book pages in the background and then embellished with some colorful florals on top. And here is a tinted version. Now here is an offshoot to that one where the background has been subdued and tinted and then more florals have been added with a few butterflies. And here is the same background with different florals and a few different butterflies or maybe just uh, put in a different place. So, okay, you see there are two uh, this one has the orange flowers added and this one the floral has been moved down to a different position. So you see those are both offshoots of this one. Okay, so you see how fun that is to create other things that you can use. Here is a very dark, very neutral master board that was done uh, by hand and gluing um, in the collage method. And here you see that master board has been subdued way into the background. Let me show it to you again. Okay, so you can see the numbers here. The numbers are there. And so it's been subdued and we've introduced some florals and a bird cage and a bird up here and a couple of butterflies. And here's another offshoot where the birdcage is different. Here it's quite dominant. 
here it's uh, much smaller and the florals and the birds and everything else pretty much remains the same except the bird cage has now taken a prominent place so you can see those are two offshoots off of this believe it or not here's another handmade collage I don't think I did it. Oh, I did do something with this. So here was the original, and let's look at the offshoot. Here we go, it's an offshoot. You can see the design in the background. Everything's been subdued so that I could bring in some florals and butterflies and, um, you know, just have fun with it. Here is the same thing with a bird cage and a bird added. Uh, another floral over here and um, you know yeah so those are two offshoots believe it or not that came from this see how fun this can be when you start looking at options of other things you can do with that same master board here's an original collage master board um, and yeah um, okay, so here's what I started with, and lightening it, taking it into the background. Here's an offshoot with some lovely florals and leaves and uh, added in. And then here's a secondary offshoot. Tell the differences here. Uh, we added a flower up here, butterfly, uh, several butterflies. Other than that, uh, oh, and this, uh, there's a Florentine uh, pattern that's been introduced in here. Uh, we see some of it here, but now we see more of it there. So you see those are two offshoots from the original master board. Okay. Another original master board, just simple collage in sort of a horizontal style with some vertical influence. Uh, very pretty, love the colors in this. And I uh, uh, guess I haven't done anything with this. I'll have to make some offshoots of that. I just love that. All right, here's a very neutral master board done with a lot of assorted book pages and kept as a neutral palette there's a little bit of rust tone in it but for the most part it's various shades and tints of um, book pages with a dragonfly I guess I haven't done anything with that one so we'll move on here's another neutral master board here we have three dragonflies some musical notes and it's very neutral and i have used this as a background to make some offshoots so let's take a look at those here's one the background was very subdued so that we could introduce some strong black imagery and this is set up to use as, as uh, journal pages. So you can see how that would make a really lovely cover on a journal with this being the back cover. And that's what it was designed to do. Here is another offshoot of the same background, a little lighter this time, if you can tell the difference between this one. is a little darker than this one. So it was lightened up some florals were added uh, and subdued ghosted into the background with the main focal points being these beautiful black and black and beige i guess uh, butterflies and the the journal it is uh, been turned into um, something a little more less opaque here it's very opaque and here it's a little translucent 
and so you can see that and here we have a third one where the butterflies are diminished and the flowers are brought to the forefront and all of this these three new master boards that could be used for journal pages or other purposes all came off of this one that's just a whole lot of fun and creativity going on and that's what I urge you to do now here uh, we have another neutral board I do make a lot of neutral boards so that I have many different options that I can do with it and so this is all done by hand collage overlapping shapes is the style and here's an offshoot the background was subdued we have some large butterflies ghosted in uh, on top of that and then two focal point butterflies again made to be perfectly used as a in a journal uh, or even on a cover here's would be one side and then that would be the back side and here's another variety of that where the butterflies have been diminished some some florals have been added with the focal point being this main flower again uh, something that would make a really nice cover either on the the main cover of a journal or perhaps a cover of a signature inside a journal I do that a lot I you know if I have two signatures in a journal the first pages will be on cardstock as an intermediary cover and then um, then the pages themselves are lighter weight so those two came from this original master board this one is very soft uh, a lot of yellow um, mixed in here I'm not sure I did anything with this particular one yet um, but it is a copy of of one so and I could tell that it was originally hand collaged and I must have used it to cut ephemera I no longer have the original this is a copy of it but you can see what it what it was now this uh, this one I has to be an offshoot oh this one is an offshoot of this master board so it was kind of in the wrong place you can you can tell by uh, the lettering going up here so we had done this one and we had done that one and then I went in a totally different direction and created uh, this which is an offshoot of the original and so you can see how different this is from the the other two and um, so that's what happens when you change your your ephemera that you're going to put on top and particularly if you have a dramatic change in color then you instantly take it in a whole new direction and so that's what's been done here and this is a perfect board to then cut up into small ephemera and since I no longer have that this is a copy of that I assume that's exactly what I did I've I've done so many I, I I don't remember everything I've done so I get surprised along the way <laughs> uh, because you know after a while um, you know you just you forget what you did several months ago so here's another neutral and uh, it's been somewhat embellished and a lot of book pages and some music uh, and 
some stamps over here and this would be great with a little bit more embellishment I think it would be a great board to be cutting up but let's see what I did with this I took it to the back you know just really subdued it into the background you could still see some of the stamps and the floral and then put this very bold dramatic advertisement it's a label uh, and and I was able to it was either already uh, made to be transparent have a transparent background or I did that I I don't remember but anyway you could see what a difference this offshoot is from the original and then here's the same thing where the background is even more subdued and then introduced with these red flowers this is made to be a journal cover and that would be what it would look like on the front cover and this would be the back cover so yeah that came off as a result of this master board so we went from there to there to there another collaged overlapping shapes style master board very neutral however there's this teal beautiful teal running through it and it's very busy uh, this would be great to cut up into smaller ephemera and uh, I probably have done that but not with the original with a copy a copy board what I call a copy board and um, I'm, I'm quite sure I've already done that. Here's another uh, similar master board. Uh, we've got a little less teal in this one, but and the rest is very neutral. But this is a great example of an overlapping shapes master board um, and has a lot of potential. Let's see what I did with that. I subdued it into the background and introduced these beautiful butterflies. And this was made not to be cut up, but to be a journal page. So that would be one side, and then this would be another side. Could also be a cover for a journal. And now the butterflies get reduced to the background, and uh, flowers are added more butterflies flying around this could be something that is cut up uh, or it could also be a journal page and this is an offshoot both of these are offshoots and here's a third one where the you know flowers have changed the butterflies are quite minimal with the exception of this one, which is a little bit muted and in, into the background. So these would be nice pages. And um, so here's what one page would look like and a back page. And so these all came as offshoots from this original master board. All right, now that's the end of group one. I've got about five minutes left on this clip. And so let's see how far we get into group two. Now this one does not have an original uh, master board that this was taken from this was I did on a computer and just put a new background in with some beautiful flowers in the front made to be two journal pages front and back 
Here's a variation. Same, you'll notice that the palette is the same in these two. They're, they're quite different, a different background, different flowers, but it's the same palette. And so these are designed to go together into the same journal, however they are used. I designed them to be pages. So here would be a page. It's light enough so someone could journal on it. And the same over here. Uh, or would be a great cover for a signature. And so if you had the two in a journal and you carried this color scheme through the journal, it would be very, very beautiful, I think. Here's the third one. Again, the same color palette, but, you know, just the background is the same as this, but the foreground has been changed from one to another. And here we have a different background altogether, but the color goes very nicely with these. So what I was doing was creating multiple master boards that coordinate with one another. And here's another one. The same flowers used in the foreground, but more muted and butterflies added. And so that is kind of an offshoot from, from um, this one, I guess. And some flowers added into, in a ghosted effect into the background there. All right, a little change of pace here. I think this was the original. Uh, I don't remember, but obviously it was something I did on the computer. It probably doesn't have an offshoot. Now this is one-fourth of a work of art that I cut up into parts to make small master boards. And I really liked it. It's, it's more modern, but highly texturized. And I think just made a really nice um, master board on its own. But let's see what kind of offshoots I developed off of this one master board. You can see evidence of it in the background. Added a bunch of flowers in the background and then uh, in the foreground even more and some text and uh, this is made to be a journal page with that as a cover and this is the back page and that came off of that beautiful uh, modern artwork and let's see what else I did this is a not as busy. Uh, this may have been the first one I did and and then yeah uh, I had these backwards. This one was the first one I did. Still very simple and lovely and then it got a little more embellished uh, on the second round. Here is the same background but different flowers and a slightly different color palette. Uh, this one is very much in the cool, again, made to be a cover and a back cover. Now here's the second master board from that original large piece of artwork that I cut down. And you can see that it's uh, the same color palette, but this was a different section of the larger artwork it was the original one and here's an offshoot again this was made to be a journal cover and a back page or back cover this was the same this is the same one but without the text so this could be 
maybe the cover of the journal itself and then this could be an inner cover of a signature at, to bring continuity into a journal and both of these offshoots of this as well as this now this one was made to be cut up into ephemera that's why it's so busy but you can barely uh, see the original master board in the background with a bunch of other things um, embellished on top and um, yeah this is to be cut up and uh, so that one would have tags that um, you know have the same color palette to go in to the journal that has these pages so this would make cut up into several really nice tags or, or postcards or artist trading cards uh, there's a lot you could do with a master board like this and I would you know make several copies of it and uh, get everything out of it I could in as many different ways as I could uh, that's what's great about this now here is the same thing this is the same board, but this was this was printed off on cardstock, and you can see the colors are very subdued. And yet here, this the same thing was printed off on you know 24 pound bright white premium paper, and you know look how the colors pop as opposed to how subdued they are here. And so what? paper you use to print on can make a huge difference in the outcome of your uh, whether it's an original or or a, an offshoot and you see then the more text was added to make this a super great copy board to cut up into all sorts of great ephemera to go into um, either this well since this is so bright I probably would reprint these on on a white background so that this just feels better as it's cut up and so it just you know wow what a difference the paper made in terms of the brilliance of the colors so keep that in mind as you're making copies Here's a very subdued overlapping shape style master board and um, combination of book pages and just torn, torn paper um, collaged down. And here it is as an offshoot. And this was made probably uh, to be cut up. And uh, I don't remember what my purpose was at the time, but I'm thinking... Uh, I wanted to be able to cut it up and so and this was again printed on this white 24 pound paper and the colors just really pop and makes me very disappointed in the printing capability on cardstock now this is not white cardstock this is the same original master board in the background with different embellishments but just look at the color difference between uh, this one on the 24 pound white and this on a it's a creamy cardstock and um, it's very beautiful but very subdued so bear that in mind you know I probably wouldn't combine the very subdued with the very bright and so make your decisions and use the same paper or similar paper when you are selecting um, what you want to put into a journal. Now this one reminds me of one of the earlier ones and probably was uh, more of an offshoot of this and so probably ought to be moved up in the stack somewhere up in here so I'm going to do that right now 
And then this one is uh, sort of an orphan. And um, I really have not done anything more with this particular master board or the palette that it was um, chosen. And so I'll have to maybe think about um, making some offshoots of this so I have some other things that would go nicely with it. In fact, I think I recently made a belly band in, in black, white, and red that would probably go very nicely with that. Here I started with, I, I d didn't print out a copy of the background, but this, this very strong blue with some white texture going on, that was an art print that I began with, and then I've brought in other papers to embellish on top. And um, this, again, is would make a nice cover. That's what it would look like and this would be a back cover and um, then this is an offshoot of that where uh, the flowers were moved to a different location and then some portraits of some of the European queens brought in some stamps and other embellishment to make a secondary master board that where the two coordinate together in terms of the color palette and can be used together in the same journal. The background here was another art print that I have that was very bright, uh, vibrant and bright, but I have tinted it way back into the background and then embellished it with flowers, some butterflies, and two other queens. I did not necessarily make this to go with this because the palette is so different, but it's just another example of just using what you have and seeing what you can create. Here's another uh, master board with Florentine papers in the background and this is overlaid on top of a, a section of artwork that I had done years ago that had some large uh, Athenian type coins in the background so you can just see those. They're there just you know for background purposes and, and a little bit of color and then to you know in this particular case I have three queens here and they're more prominent now. Again this is made to be a cover or a, um, a page in a journal or a cover and then this would be a back page. Um, so uh, yeah and then here's another variety of um, you know portraits. It doesn't have to be queens it could be anything. I was trying to go for you know, really ornate frames and and different color palettes and uh, combining flowers, butterflies, and portraits into a master board. This would make a very nice uh, sheet in a journal. It's light enough to be journaled on top. This would be a back page, probably not a page that you would journal on, but nevertheless uh, very attractive and you see when you uh, when you look at it like this it looks kind of spacey but when you realize that these are designed to be either cut in half or folded in half then it takes on a different feeling and it looks very well designed and proportioned and beautiful so well that's all the time we have for this particular video and as I said already 
if you find this of value and helpful to you, you have to let me know in the comment section. And, you know, so like the video and give me your feedback in the comment section as to whether you'd like me to do more of these or not. Because I have a ton of master boards and I can do a lot more than uh, what I've shown you in this video. But um, I just need to hear from you as to uh, what you want to see. So, with that said, this is Miss Starling calling this a wrap. Bye-bye.